the secret of practice of allowing healing and transformation is to learn how to give attention to what is with no agenda. And you might say, well, but I have an agenda, John. <laughs> I want to be happy. I want to feel better. You know, I want to be inspired. I want to, you know, improve my life in various ways, right? Good. Good. Whatever you want is important to honor what you want. Voice it, express it, work on making it happen in your life. Great. No problem. But in practice, which is this intimate space that you make for yourself. I was gonna use the word sacred, but you know, that's, <laughs> that's a good word actually, I like it. Um, it is a sacred space actually. Because there's something happens when you, uh, when you get out of the way and you're at peace, or you naturally feel reverent, or you just are grateful for life, for breath, for this moment becomes fulfilling, is fulfilled. People mistakenly thought that that reality meant you weren't supposed to have any desires, you know, when you're free of the one who has an agenda. This is a misunderstanding from ego. Only ego misunderstands. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> um, that's why when you stop like this, and you stop, but you don't stop, but movement keeps happening, right? It's like I used to use the example of driving a car. You have a seatbelt on, and you come to a stoplight or a stop sign and, and the, the car stops, but your body goes forward into the seatbelt, right? You keep moving. There's this force of movement, this momentum of our self, our conditioned, egoic, surviving self. How do you balance that with being free of the one who has an agenda. That's really what I'm showing here in many, many ways from many perspectives. And you're discovering it also, not because you believe me or think it's a good idea, <laughs> because you're discovering how it works within you uniquely, not by following someone, someone's way, but rather by following the unique way that is your unfolding destiny. And what my job is, is to help you see that and to, and to support it and not get in the way of how that's working. It's hard to do this because there's no how can I say this? There's it's hard to do it because what's required is the insecurity, the vulnerability of not knowing, the uncertainty of not knowing. And this is where I encourage you to turn towards the insecurity of not knowing, the vulnerability of not feeling safe, and secure and know that that's I think you'll find if you haven't already I know many of you have and some of you are just discovering this that that is a sign that it's working <laughs> that the the plant is growing and it's going to create a bud and it's going to create a flower and it's going to create a fruit and a seed and it's going to continue the cycle of 
the miracle of life. So, this process of finding your inner attunement is not separate from being someone who, in the world, so to speak, has an agenda. Great. Nothing wrong with that. Just notice if it's cutting you off from your heart or making you feel isolated or alienated or unfulfilled. Then you need to look at that. Because when you're living your authentic life, you will be fulfilled. Wherever you are on your travels to your achieving your agenda, it doesn't matter. That's why they say it's the journey, not the destination. That's not that helpful. <laughs> it, it, you got to bring it down to how that really, really works in day-to-day, moment-to-moment living, which is what we're doing here in these gatherings, these weekly gatherings, the retreats, and so forth. Our egos want the magic solution. They want the, what? We used to say the magic pill, you know. (laughs) You take the pill and everything's great forever. Or say, oh, well, if I only could get, you know, the, the, you know, the pill that's been very famous for a long time is called enlightenment, you know. I want that. I want, I used to think, wouldn't it be great if you could just find an acupuncture point, you know, and just get that needle the right way and boom, you'd be free. (laughs) Egos want a quick fix. Okay, well, sometimes you just need a quick fix. And then come back to the work of really being an evolving, unknowable being in an unknowable life, in an unknowable existence, in an unknowable universe. It is scary until it is ecstatic and euphoric. And as I like to say, inspiring. That's always the, that's always a gold standard of it's working. You're inspired. You know when you're inspired, whatever it is that you know, that you're, you know, it could just be something really simple. Be grateful for those moments of peace. Celebrate them, even if they're gone and you're back in the old me of suffering and struggle. It's, we're really dealing with evolution here and evolution is slow. It's slow. You can't evolve quickly. You can awaken instantly, but that's not evolution. That's a paradigm shift of of perception. That's beautiful to have a paradigm shift of perception. But then you have to come back to living your life, whatever it is, and taking the next step and doing the next thing and taking care of what's in front of you. That's when your practice here is relevant in your daily life, in your relationships, your work, your health, your money, everything. no matter what area of life you're in and involved in, it's relevant. 